As for Karina Bergfeldt, Prince Daniel is now talking about congenital kidney disease, Prince Daniel was lucky. The kidney disease he was born with was detected in time, and on May 27, 2009, he underwent a six-hour kidney transplant at Carolina University Hospital in Hutting. After some time on dialysis, he received a new kidney donated by his father, Ol Westling, and was able to plan ahead for the kidney transplant. This also meant that the disease did not become as serious as it could have been. Since I got the kidney from my father, we were able to plan it. It's hard to plan everything perfectly then, so I had a few weeks of dialysis and then it was really bad, says Prince Daniel in an interview with SVT Profile magazine Karina Bergfeldt before his 50th birthday, Prince Daniel, takes his medication every day. Today, Daniel has been living with his father's kidney for 14 years. Everything was fine after the transplant, and he says there have been no direct failures since the operation. Today I don't notice it just like you take medication every day to keep your kidneys thriving. I'm lucky, I have hundreds of people behind me. This stress. It's horrible not being healthy and then waiting year after year. Some people don't survive because of waiting for their organ, says Prince Daniel, could save the lives of eight people. After the surgery, Daniel was able to live a normal life. He previously described it as a return to his life, which he knows does not happen to everyone in similar situations, although most Swedes have a positive attitude towards donating their organs, not everyone can do it, says Daniel and says he is an organ donor himself. The will of Swedes is extremely high. 80 to 90 percent are positive about organ donation in case you die, and then you have organs to save the lives of eight people. That said, few people find that minute and go to the donation register and register.